Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today we're gonna be painting a landscape um, that my dear friend on Instagram has sent me a picture of. Well, actually, I saw it on Instagram and asked her, can I have this picture so I can paint it out? Um, but also, um, not only I'm gonna show you how to paint a, big, uh, a landscape, but also I'm gonna review um, a new brand that I bought recently and I really like. Um, which is called Pebel or Pebil. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but this is the brand. It's the collection called Studio Acrylics High Viscosity, and uh, I find them really, really good. I've used it quite a lot. All right, so let's dive into it. Here's our canvas. Our lovely canvas, it's already been primed and it's been stretched already. I'm gonna tell you what colours I'm gonna be using because it's really good to to know what is the process before you start painting. Um, and also I'm gonna be showing somewhere on the video um, the picture that I'm gonna be copying. When I'm painting landscapes I tend not to copy any pictures but um, I like to work with my imagination. I think I, I just found it more fun. And I like to think like a mountain, like strong mountain. In fact, so the colors I'm gonna be using are called Cerulean Blue, Hooker's Green, Burns Umber, and of course Burns Sienna, Titanium White, and Mars Black. So there's no yellow at all, but we don't care about that, don't we? I'm gonna list them below in the description so you can see what colors I'm, uh, I'm gonna be using. I've used oil quite a bit. Um, my favorite so far. I think acrylic is more for everyone that wants to start painting. Oil need, requires um, time, effort, which don't user, usually have nowadays, don't we? Hope you're gonna enjoy today. Yesterday's been very, very, it's been a um, stormy day. There was a storm. I really need to paint something peaceful. <laughs> We're gonna start with is the primary scene. Just gonna put a little bit on my board, like that, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna try to squeeze the titanium white. Perfect. I'm gonna put it that way. In there, because I'm gonna be using quite a lot of it. I don't need the black at the moment, but I'm going to have a go with the cerulean, cerulean blue as well, which is very similar to the primary blue, a little bit lighter. Two inches brush, you can tell it's been used quite a lot, but I love the paint brushes when they start to become this sort of way, it makes it more interesting. Right, so what I'm going to start using is the primary blue. I'm just going to tip a corner on the color of that. Then I'm going to just tap it on the board like that. I can have the color throughout the whole brush like that. And a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Now, one thing that I do, wet my canvas. So that the colors can be mixed very well together while I'm painting it because I'm using acrylics and start to draw some excess just like that beautiful and I'm gonna get my four inches brush big boy I'm just gonna take away all of that water. Ah, oh, nice coverage, isn't it? Beautiful. What we're gonna start using now is a sash brush. Okay, whenever you feel ready, you know, there is already a lot of stress out there. You need to feel ready sometimes. 
need to feel ready to do things. And when you feel ready, when is the time? You know when is the time? You're gonna be successful. Then you get the another brush, which is light. It's one and a half inches, yeah. And what you're gonna do? You're just gonna put it that way and brush it off like that. I don't like the shape, but what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some more paint. A little cloud over here as well, just like that. We're gonna first be using um, an angle brush, just like that. This is a 30 mil angle brush. Okay. Burnt umber color. Yeah, just gonna pop it on my board a little bit, just a little bit. Now, if you pay good attention, there's a lot of blues going on. So, we want to mix the burnt umber with some cerulean blue. Okay, there's a lot of blue going on. Let's start mixing. Become this sort of greyish color. Just mix it thoroughly. Stop it on the board. Now we have to make a really big decision. Where do we start? So I'm gonna be placing the brush like that. Swipe it on the board, on the canvas, like that, down, just like that. Mountain. It's a beautiful mountain. It's in Italy, somewhere in Italy, not Italy. My friend uh, told me the location yesterday, but I forgot. <laughs> so I'm gonna be finding it out. It later. Love to see my friends going on holiday. Makes me go, makes me want to go as well with them. The beautiful places they go to. Yes, isn't that amazing? Look at that. And that's probably why I don't go to holidays, because I just paint these pictures like that. And it feels like I'm there already. So before we're gonna do the snow over here, I wanna do the lake, the frozen lake. Now the color it's not blue, there is a little bit of green, so I'm going to be using some hooker's green and mix it with the other blues and I'm going to start mixing it. We're going to start using burnt sienna first. Let's take our titanium white. A flat brush, number 12, this big boy, and again, just the tip of the bristles. So now that we've done all of that, we want to go to the actual rock in the middle.
we've done with the brushes, I'm gonna be using a fan brush and with a white, I'm gonna recreate the eyes on the water. Now, if you really see the picture, there's some sort of like a trees coming down from here. So I'm gonna be using my hooker screen with a fan brush. Just go over here and tap it on. Perfect. And there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the tutorial. Definitely I recommend the paint. All the links and the information are in the description below. Please make sure to follow me, subscribe on this channel, follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram. You can find me on uh, my website as well. I wish you all best of luck and um, I'll see you next time.